Hello again, folks. And uh, right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that I'm excited. <laughs> I have a, uh, I've got a good feeling about this $38.50 album I have to open today. Uh, it arrived earlier this morning, and I have been eagerly awaiting the moment when I could head down here and open it up. And not only do I have a good feeling about this album, it was sold to me by a gentleman by the name of Captain Rob. <laughs> I gotta tell you, if you have a moniker, you're doing all right in my book. <laughs> Captain Rob. I love it. So I, uh, I saw, I think, four or five pictures and uh, on one of them, I was very pleasantly surprised by a stamp or two. And, uh, and that led me to pull the trigger on this $38.50 adventure. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure what else I'll find in here. But for those few stamps alone, I thought it was a pretty good uh, chance to take. And here we go. I can already see a little bit of mildew stains on the cover. I was pretty sure I had seen that in the pictures as well. Let me check. Yep, it's been stored in a basement. <laughs> but that's okay as long as I can save some of the stamps. It is the American album for United States stamps. And it is obviously quite mildewy. Well. Maybe that's why it was $38.50 and the uh, and the stamps themselves will make up for it. We'll see. Published in 1949. And there you go. Look at that. It is in phenomenal condition. I th I, this was the one that I saw and I thought, well, heck, if it's got that stamp, it's in great shape. Oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> what a great stamp right off the bat. Oh, I'm thrilled. Well, there you go. That was a great little opening. All right, I'm, 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 uh, you know, I'm pleased. Time to move. Oh, wait, no, there's the rest of the album. But that, <laughs> that is a phenomenal stamp. I love it. Oh my goodness. I did not see that. Oh, there's a cover. There's one on cover. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. I did not see this page. Holy cow. Not on cover, but on a cut square. Look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Wow. And I did not see that stamp. Oh, my goodness. That's a beautiful stamp. I wonder if that is actually the color variation or not. Wow, look at that. That is going in my book. That is fantastic. I love that. And then this one is beautiful too. I wonder what what uh, version it is. Look at that great cancel. Holy cow. I thought, you know, when you've got an album, the, when you see this on the picture... You you kind of think there might be others, but I didn't see that. That's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> Captain Rob. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Rob. Oh, my gosh. It's got the 24. And a blackjack. Oh, my gosh. Look at the 24 cent. Unbelievable. I don't 
know that I have that stamp in my book, I might not. Oh my goodness gracious, look at that stamp. That blackjack almost looks unused. I'm sorry if I'm pulling it off the camera. I'm just... Wow, that actually does look unused. I think it is. I think that's an unused... I'm saying unused because it's it's got some pulled purse. I mean, it's not... I can't see a cancel on that. Holy cow. <sighs> wow. And that is in the grill section. I'll I'll take a look at that to see if it actually has a grill. <laughs> Unbelievable. Some of the nice pictorials. Wow. Look at that. Look at that fancy cancel, the two cent. Unbelievable, that 12 is in great shape too. Un, I, I, I just had a feeling. What else am I gonna find in here? Wow, nice. Is relatively full. A fifteen cent Colombian. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. That five cent is in great shape. Very light cancel. Very light cancel on the three. Oh my goodness. I love the Trans Mississippi series so much. Chicago, Illinois, there it is. I'm gonna put together a book, one of these. 50 cent! There's the 50 cent. Oh wow. Wow, that is a very nice stamp. <laughs> $38.50. Captain Rob! Oh my gosh, I love this so much. 50 cent 1902. Are you kidding me? And the 10 cent. That's a nice stamp. I'm telling y'all, finds are out there. I got this book using the trick uh, I explained in my earlier eBay video. Check it out. You two can make finds at the right Oh, gosh. Alright, I think we're gonna get a tip I might go pretty quick through the rest. And then jump to the back of the book section and see what I find there. One dollar. That's a nice one. The offset printing, and yes, those do look offset printing. Wow, that's new. This book is unreal. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot believe it. I have to go back and look at that blackjack. If that blackjack is in fact new, <laughs> God, what a find. Nebraska on the print, please. All right, I might flip through some of the more common. It is very full.
Oh, that's a nice castle. New York. Oh, it says Wall Street. That's cool. 1940, December 11th, 1940, New York, Wall Street. That's cool. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to... Oh, oh my gosh, I think I just saw something. <laughs> I did. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to go watch. There's going to be like a Zeppelin hanging out on a page. That's new. That's a nice one. That's a new 15 cent airmail. That's gorgeous. All right, I'm just going to quick flip through these guys. Oh, <laughs> I was holding my breath a little bit. <laughs> nice special deliveries. An old postage do. There you go. Official stamp from the post office department, 90 center. That's a high denomination. That's nice. And that's new. That's a new war department, seven cent. That's gorgeous. Gosh. Honestly, one or two of the stamps that I've pointed out, I'd be happy with a $38.50 album, but there's so many great stamps throughout this. It's just unbelievable. All right, I wonder if that's the last of them. Oh my word. I don't have any newspaper stamps. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Oh my word. Oh, that is a beautiful stamp. I don't have any. If you've seen my USA stamp album, it is, that is an area I have been looking to buy some, and there is a gorgeous one. Oh my goodness. What a find. Oh my goodness. A newspaper stamp. Unbelievable. Hey, I just bought that one. <laughs> That's what happens when I give up hoping I'll find it in an album. <laughs> Gosh, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> wow. Look at those. Look at those. Look at those cancels. Look at those beautiful cut squares. Holy cow. 1853 cut squares. Oh my goodness. Those are simply gorgeous. Holy mow moly. This might be one of my best finds ever. Unbelievable. 
Look at that gorgeous cancel. April 19th, Abingdon, Virginia. 1853 to 55. Holy wow. Wow. <laughs> Captain Rob, you're making my day. <laughs> that one. Oh my goodness. All right, just a reminder, I'm not shy about it. I found this using a trick I described in an earlier video. Take a look. These are out there. You just have to be patient. Oh, wow. I'm not, I don't have a big collection of cut squares, so... Uh, if you see things that I should be looking at, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. What all? I am... Oh my goodness. I am overwhelmed. I'm flipping through these. I know these are pretty common. Okay, here's the revenue stamps. I wonder if there are any in here. When I'm done going through this, I'm going to go back and do a quick review because I need to spend more time. There's the revenue stamps. Nice. I want to go back and take a look at that blackjack closely. Oh, look at those. That's nice. That's new. Probate of Will. I can't believe there was a newspaper stamp in here. I love that. Cancel blue. Cancel September 13th. That's gorgeous. <laughs> and I, I've said it before, I do get a kick out of documentary stamps. I just think they're cool. This was one of the pages. This was the second page. I saw the first page with the, the beautiful one set, and then I saw this page. Those were the two that had stamps that I thought, well, maybe. <laughs> I guess I was right. $38.50 later. Proprietary stamp. Interesting. I love that this album has a spot for all of the different uh, uh, varieties. Lots of stock transfers. I like even more that this album has a lot of the different stamps in it. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, well, I think we're getting to the end of it. I mean, I'm not sure what... Oh, there's Confederate stamps, too. Unbelievable. Look at those. Now, obviously, I can't vouch for whether or not those are genuine, but those are cool. Oh, nice.
Well, I am going to go ahead and say that this was one of my favorite and the best finds of all time. I just, um, unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. All right, I'm going to go back and look at that blackjack just to see. Uh, if I can, if, and please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below about whether or not you think this is new. I mean, oh, I just want to spend some more time with this. Look at this. That one is gorgeous. Tell you what, I'm going to give you a better look at it. Just a gorgeous looking stamp. All right. Might be hard to see. Probably hard to tell on the camera. It's hard for me to tell up close and in person, but I can't see a cancel on it. I think that's new. Goodness gracious, what a pretty one. And then it's just hanging out next to that one. And oh yeah, that might have a grill on it. <laughs> well, uh, thank you for joining me on a rather surreal, amazing uh, journey through a thirty-eight dollar and fifty cent album. If you uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and like it and uh, do subscribe to the channel. It means a great deal to me. And until next time, take care.